What's up everybody, I'm Brian from i1 Tesla and I finally got my floor mats in, for, uh, my 3D floor mats. They are the best floor mats for your Tesla Model 3 and Tesla Model Y. Uh, mine just came in, I'm gonna open them up, show them to you. It took a while because you know, this whole world's crazy right now and things are taking a little longer because of shipping. And I ordered these from Tesla Rati. There'll be a link down below if you wanna get yours. And look at what the floor mats have done. They've captured all that mud. I mean, obviously, except for the side panels, but no water went back into the the wiring back there, everything has stayed inside here and it's gonna be very easy to clean. Uh, they're getting a lot more in and they're just starting to deliver the first sets right now. Uh, but let me show you what they look like. All right, this is too hard one-handed. I'm gonna put you down. <laughs> where can I, where can I put you? Oh, how cute. These are the 3D custom fitted floor mats. Uh, these are wonderful. Let me pull one out for you. This is the rear trunk. It's got a nice texture to it, easy to clean. It has a, almost like a, the soft part of Velcro on this side, so it's not gonna move on you, but also it'll hinge to open up. This is the material. Hopefully you can see, this is the bottom of it. So it's nice and soft, but it's going to grab onto the carpet and stay in one spot. All right, we have, huh, there's two? Oh, huh, wow, this even has for the tub underneath. That's really cool, and that's for inside that area here. And then this is for the frunk. Uh, this is the whole kit. You can just get the interior kit if you want to, but I, get, I went and got the full kit but this is really nice. It's gonna protect everything in there and quiet things down a little bit too. It even comes with a mat for the front section of the Model Y. That's actually pretty cool. And the part you're gonna see mostly in the car is the front. Now this looks like the passenger, yeah, this is the passenger side. You have a, a 3D logo over top and that fits right in. Same backing material, so it's not gonna slide on you. This is not gonna move at all. It's formed for the, uh, for the Model Y. So if you're in a snowy area or you get a lot of rain, uh, this is, all the water is gonna stay in here and then you can soak it up in here. You can take a towel and you can just pick it up or you can remove this and hose this out. Nothing's gonna stay in there, but there's some grooves in there. It's not gonna make it slippery. I'm excited. And here is the driver's side. You got a little mat, a more textured area or a tougher area for your heel that's always gonna go here. Raised part for the, the dead pedal. I think they call it a dead pedal. Uh, and then instead of the factory one that's cut here and a, a V, they have actually covered that so it's protected as well. And again, of course, the 3D logo. For your nasty, dirty kids in the back seat, they never wipe off their shoes or anything. You have protection for the rear. Also with a ridge, so uh, everything that drops in here is going to stay in the floor mat itself and not go all over and get your carpet wet and then get the padding underneath there wet and then start getting that mildewy smell. Uh, it's, it's really nasty. It even comes with these are the side pieces in the, the trunk, which is right over there. There's a little cubby hole and there's one right over here. Uh, these are labeled left and right and those go in the base of there. Oh, man, they thought of everything. You wanna see them in the car, don't you? So let's start in the back. I have, this is the one for the trunk area, the bottom, the pit. It slides right in there. These do stay in place. Oh. These just drop right in. It's gonna be very hard for you to see, but let me get a let me get a light for you. And there you go. It sits right down in the base there. I mean, you put floor mats in a car before. It just drops right in. Now this one has the 3D logo, so it's gonna go in the back here. Now again, that Velcro makes it a little difficult, but that's what makes it stick. So now I've got the added protection. You know, most of the time you don't put much stuff up front here. Maybe you have some things that you only use in, a, in an emergency. You'll be able to get to those if you need to. But now this makes it so you can still get to down here. A well protected. This is not gonna do anything. There's not even lines on this. It's not making any movement, but you can still get down below. Put stuff, stuff down below, you have protection down there. 
This is going to, I believe this is going to be a little bit more quiet in the car. You see right there, Tesla makes a flap there and really they sit like this in the car and there's a gap there that all the debris, all the dirt goes in there. That's not really that nice. The new one here doesn't have that gap. So it's going to sit in there really like a Gucci suit. It's going to be custom fit. You probably can't see too well, but that fits in there perfectly. What's really nice is I like the ridges here where all of, all the water is going to stay in there. It's not slippery. So there's grip. Uh, this is, this is gripped really nice. It's a nice rubber feel. So uh, my feet are not going to slide even if there's water on here. I already got them dirty from my shoes. <laughs> but what I what I was so happy about is, you see I have some electronics down here that I'm gonna go over some more with my off-road build, but all this water from my shoes, if I'm going off-road and all the mud, it's gonna fit, it's gonna sit here and not continue to go even farther. Even if I'm going up a pretty steep hill, it's gonna take a very steep hill, and I don't even know if the car can do that uh, before it puts any water in this area. Then I have the opportunity to get in here and wipe this stuff up. And then we have this behemoth of a back one. The Velcro makes it a little bit more tough to get the back one in just because of how massive it is and you need to slide it forward. But absolutely wonderful for the kids. And of course, the, the passenger seat. Oh yeah, forgot about the frunk. Let me show you why I can't put this one in. All right, this one would go right in there, but the reason I can't put it in is because I'm installing a compressor. Now, you're th probably thinking to yourself, why is this idiot installing a compressor in his front? Well, I'm turning this into an off-road Model Y, so I need a compressor to air down the tires and air them back up. Uh, that hooks up to the, the mechanism underneath, and I'll go over all that stuff. So subscribe to my channel if you want to learn about that stuff, along with those lights up there. That's all controlled in one spot. And now for the second part of the floor mat video. As you see, it's very muddy. Our shoes were extremely muddy. And look at what the floor mats have done. They've captured all that mud. I mean, obviously, except for the side panels. But no water went back into the, the wiring back there. Everything has stayed inside here, and it's gonna be very easy to clean. Same thing with the passenger side. Let me show you. Kyle was sitting over here, and his are less muddy than mine, but everything stayed inside there nothing under the seat everything's dry there's a big lip there awesome awesome floor mats i'm so pleased with these floor mats definitely order yours from Teslarati. there's a link down below so you'll get yours very quickly so all you have to do is pull these out and clean them right off that mud i mean it's not even dried right now it'd be easy to clean off so part of this video, this is kind of saved to the end of it, but I'm going to give away two pieces of my floor mat setup. I'm giving away the frunk setup because that mat won't fit in there now that I have the compressor in there. And also the trunk. I don't want the trunk area, that gigantic mat. I like the ones at the bottoms, but I don't want that giant mat. Call me crazy. A lot of people want that, but that's what's great about this. I'm going to give it away. You have to subscribe to my channel, so make sure you're subscribed. Leave a comment down below saying you want to win the floor mats and then say something nice best comment might win. I get to pick it. I'm not randomly picking a, a comment. I'm going to pick what I like, but again, you have to be a subscriber. So subscribe to the channel. Uh, I mean, why not? Who does that to their car? I do on this channel. We do. And this is just the beginning. We're going to be going on some real trails up in some mountains, up in the Appalachian mountains. Again, I'm giving away the frunk floor mat and the big giant trunk floor mat. So leave your comments down below, something nice, and make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.